everyone and welcome back to Crypto Fiend. If you're looking to take control of your finances and build wealth, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to share with you 10 proven money rules that have significantly improved my financial life. And these aren't just theories, they're practical tips that I've personally implemented and they've made a world of a difference. Whether you're just starting out or you're already on your financial journey, these rules will help you take things to the next level. They won't all work for us. Well, most Americans can't afford to buy a house in cash, but you should be able to find ideas where you can borrow philosophies to help develop and formulate your own unique money rules. So let's jump in. Rule number one, pay yourself first. The first rule is to pay yourself first. This means before you pay any bills or spend on anything else, you set aside a portion of your income for savings and investments. It's about prioritizing your future self. I set up automatic transfers to my savings account right after payday, so I never even miss the money. This simple habit has helped me consistently grow my savings over time. Rule number two is building an emergency fund. Life is unpredictable and having a financial cushion is essential. Aim to save at least three to six months worth of your living expenses in a separate account that you can access easily. This fund has given me peace of mind and kept me from going into debt when unexpected expenses pop up. Check out our video about building an emergency fund. We go into complete detail about everything you'll ever need while establishing an emergency fund. Rule number three, live below your means. It sounds obvious, but it's crucial. No matter how much you earn, if you're spending it all or worse, going into debt, you'll never get ahead. I made it a point to differentiate between needs and wants, and I focus on spending money on things that truly add value to my life. This approach has allowed me to save more and avoid lifestyle inflation. Rule number four, invest consistently. Rather than trying to time the market, I focus on making regular investments regardless of market conditions. This strategy known as dollar cost averaging reduces the impact of market volatility and helps my investments grow steadily over time. Whether it's stocks, index funds, or real estate, the key is consistency. Rule number five, diversify your investments. Diversification is key to managing risk. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, and real estate, you reduce the risk of losing everything if one area underperforms. My diversified portfolio has helped me weather market downturns and still see long-term growth. We also have a video discussing the basic fundamentals of investing and what an ideal portfolio should look like. Click on the I button above to check it out. Rule number six, avoid bad debt. Not all debt is created equal. Mortgage debt can be good, while credit card debt is almost always bad. High interest debt can cripple your finances. I prioritize paying off any high interest debt as quickly as possible and avoid accumulating new debt unless it's for something that can appreciate in value, like an education or home. Take advantage of tax advantage accounts like 401k and IRAs, which is our seventh rule. Contributing to these accounts reduces your taxable income and allows your investments to grow tax-free or tax-deferred. I max out my contributions every year to take full advantage of these tax benefits, and it's made a big difference in my retirement savings. Rule number eight, continuously educate yourself about money. The financial world is always evolving and staying informed is crucial. I regularly read books, take online courses, and follow financial news to keep my knowledge up to date. This has helped me make better financial decisions and stay ahead of the curve. Rule number nine, set clear financial goals. Without specific goals, it's easy to lose track of your progress. I like to break down my goals into short-term, medium-term, and long-term categories. For example, paying off debt might be a short-term goal while saving for retirement is a long-term goal. Having clear goals keeps me motivated and focused on what really matters. Rule number 10, regularly review and adjust your financial plan. Life changes and so should your financial strategy. I set aside time every quarter to review my finances, assess my progress toward my goals, and make any necessary adjustments. This habit ensures that I'm always on track and adapting to any changes in my circumstances or the economy. If these money rules resonated with you and you wanna learn more about how to improve your financial life, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. 
And if you have any personal finance tips or questions, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. To wrap things up, these 10 money rules have been game changers for me, and I believe they can make a big difference for you too. Remember, financial success isn't about making a single big move. It's about consistently making smart choices over time. Thanks for watching, and here's to building a strong, secure financial future.